Okay, hi guys. Isaac was having a little bit of checkup on the car just before the race weekend. Not the race weekend actually, but the track day weekend. Uh, I wanted to show you what you could find behind the wheels of my Civic and let's find out. Okay, so here we are. Here we have on the front um, a full, almost a full, full Honda Concerto or Rover 216 as you may call it, but I'm st this is still from a Honda actually. And this is from the Honda, this is from the Honda too, the caliper as well. Um, the strut is from the Honda, but, but, but the hydraulic inside the strut is from um, Mazda Xedos. The suspension has been shortened and shortened and valve, custom valved. Um, you can see the drive shaft here, uh, custom made. This is from the Honda Concerto as well. And that's pretty much all. Oh, you, that you need to get a, a serious braking power in front of the car. The rear end then is another story and requires more work to, to have this disc conversion. And um, what you need is actually um, a Honda Prelude second generation bracket that holds the, the Honda Civic fourth generation uh, caliper. Then you can, after machining a few parts, um, put the the hub from the fourth generation Civic and then I had to weld the front strut from a Honda Concerto to the, um, the original uh, Honda Civic first generation uh, suspension that was a bit of work and then I could fit the Kony front hydraulic from the Honda Concerto with um, H&R uh, spring and then you can get this at least um, at last uh, disc, con disc conversion and you can see that I I fitted a huge for the rear a huge anti-wall bar just on top of the rear diffuser and that's pretty much all Okay guys, so I hope this video has been helpful for you if you own the same car and if you want it to increase the braking power and the handling and I hope this will help and thank you for watching, see you guys!